Go with me over to 2 Timothy 3. 2 Timothy 3. Going back just a few pages. 2 Timothy 3, verses 1 through 5. Now, in this context, Paul understands the last days as having occurred in his time. You see, Paul understood that he was living in the last days. Uh, and by the way, we are living in the last days. We are living in that time frame between the first and the second coming of Christ. Uh, 2 Timothy 3, uh, Paul says, uh, But realize this, that in the last days, difficult times will come. Now, he's talking to, to Timothy here and his audience. And many people have taken this and they projected it into the future. But what you have to understand is that this had to have meaning to Paul's original audience. You know, Paul was writing to Timothy, and whatever Paul said, it had to have, uh, it had to have meaning and significance to his original audience, to his readers. And so he says, but realize this, that in the last days difficult times will come, for men will be lovers of self, lovers of money, boastful, arrogant, revilers, Disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, unloving, irreconcilable, malicious gossips without self-control, brutal, haters of good, treacherous, reckless, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. I mean, he's describing modern-day soap operas, right? <laughs> and notice verse 5, holding to a form of godliness, although they have denied its power. And notice what he says there. Avoid such men as these. Avoid such men as these. Paul's talking to his... Paul's talking to Timothy. Paul is telling Timothy to avoid these kind of men right now. Avoid such men as these. By the way, it is absolutely biblical to avoid some people. <laughs> okay? As a matter of fact, the scripture commands us to avoid some people. And these are the kind of people that you want to avoid. 2 Timothy 3, verses 1 through 5, gives you a good list of people to avoid. Okay? And so you have good biblical sanction right there. Avoid such men as these. And then he goes on to describe and name uh, some of those who uh, had opposed Moses in verse 8 and so on. But the point is, is that Paul realized that in his own time he was living in the last days just as we are. And so the men that he describes and the characteristics that he gives of them in his day, we see them in our day as well. So it's no different.